What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm going to be announcing round 14 of Read-A-Rama. If you don't know what Read-A-Rama is, it is a readathon that I've been hosting along with Chloe from Burnett Bibliophile, April, Sarah, and Gwen. We have so much fun with this and I can't wait to announce the theme for the next round. The links to everyone's channels, our Twitter and our now Instagram will be linked down below. I'm gonna get into the announcement and all of the fun stuff that is going to happen with Readorama round 14. Let's get started. Readorama round 14 is going to be taking place from May 17th to May 23rd. My birthday is the 19th, so I'm really excited about this round because I get to host it on my birthday. <laughs> Every round of Readorama, we have a theme and seven challenges that you can complete. This round of Readorama, we encourage you to read the rainbow. There is a graphic that I designed where you can put all your titles in a rainbow, so that will be linked down below. The objective is to read a book for every color in the rainbow. There are seven, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. You can use a book with the color in the title or on the cover. It's up to you however you want to interpret it. For example, if you're going to be going with the method to read the books with the color in the title, I have words in deep blue and that has blue on the cover and in the title. Um, I'm going to be having some recommendations at the end and Gwen has a full recommendations video, which will also be linked down below for you guys to start brainstorming for your TBRs. Another book that has colors in the title is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuistian. I feel like that's like the perfect book for this, um, but I am going to be having recommendations at the end of this. We also have our two classic Readorama challenges, which are bonus challenges now. And these are to read seven books. And if you complete the whole rainbow, then you will complete this challenge. And there is to read a book with Rama in the title or author. And if you're new to read a Rama, here's an example. More Happy Than Not has R, R, A, M and Adam and A and Adam. So that would be Rama. It doesn't have to be together. It can just be throughout because that would be impossible. We also created an Instagram where we will be announcing daily Instagram challenges. So feel free to go over to our Instagram and follow us at Readorama so that you don't miss out when we post during the readathon. Last, we have a giveaway every round. It is a $20 gift card to Amazon or the Book Depository, depending on where you live. International will be Book Depository, Amazon will be for the US, and we run the giveaway through Rafflecopter so the link will be down below, but the giveaway is not going to start until the first day of the readathon, which is May 17th, and it'll run until the last day on May 23rd. To enter, you must be 18 years or older or have a parent's permission. You must subscribe to all of the hosts and follow at Readorama on Twitter. The Rafflecopter will tell you all of the other entries. Um, and yeah, it's easy and I hope that you guys will enter. So that is all the information for the readathon. I hope that you guys will participate and let me know in the comments if you're going to. I am so excited about this, especially just because I love picking out my TBR and now that I get to put it together in a rainbow is gonna be really fun. So here are my rainbow recommendations. All of these are contemporary recommendations because that's all I read. Um, but I already gave you words in deep blue, but let me tell you what this is about. It's set in Australia. It deals with grief and <laughs> that's just my brand now. But it is about a girl who loses her brother and he drowns and she goes back to her old town and rekindles a friendship and romance with this boy named Henry who works at a bookstore. Hence all of the books all over the cover. I really like this book. It's good. I would recommend it for the blue challenge. Another one could go for any of these colors. We have Not If I See You First by Eric Lindstrom. This has blue, red, yellow. It could go for either one. And this is about a girl named Parker who is blind and she is badass. And I just really enjoy this book. It's just good disability representation and I do enjoy it. It's not on voices, but it is written very well. 
red. I feel like this is not really a surprise, but I really don't have a lot of red books, especially ones that I've read. But we've got The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. It has red on the spine. I would count it. There's red like right on her little headband thing. Um, so I would count it. This book tackles the Black Lives Matter movement and this is about a girl named Star who witnesses her friend get shot by a cop. This is such a powerful book, and if I could recommend any book for red, it would be this. For green, I have A Very, Very Bad Thing by Jeffrey Self. This is so underrated. It is a diverse book. It is about a boy named Marley. He is gay, and he meets a boy named Chris, who is also gay. But Chris's parents are very conservative, and they keep sending him to Bray the Gay Way camps. It is such a powerful book. It's just one of my favorites. It's short, and I just feel like it's very impactful, and I want to say that there are trigger warnings for death um, and homophobia. So if you can't handle that, I don't recommend this because there are some graphic scenes, but I really love this one. And there's so much green on it. It's probably like one of my favorite green covers. Next, um, I have some rainbow books. So this is also like up to your interpretation, whichever color you want to use for it. But I would probably use this for like violet or indigo. And this is The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk. One of my favorite books ever. This is a book about grief because that is all I like to read. Um, and this follows three perspectives. It is three people who have lost someone and they are all connected to this one band. It's amazing. It'll probably tear your heart out, but it's so good. The next book I'm going to recommend is for Indigo. Um, I'm pretty sure it has Indigo on it. This is How to Make a Wish by Ashley Woodfolk. No, this is by Ashley Herring Blake, not Ashley Woodfolk. <laughs> this to me, I'm going to say is Indigo. Like I would say the spine and all is definitely Indigo. This is about a girl named Grace. It is a female female romance. It's one of my favorite books and it follows Grace whose mother is really unstable. They're basically following her from boyfriend to boyfriend. Um, so they're like in and out of boyfriend's houses. And this is just such a good female female romance. So if you're looking for more sapphic books, I definitely recommend this. Grace is bisexual and it is own voices. And it's a good book. So please read it. Next, I actually have like a thriller horror kind of book. Paranormal, I guess I would say. And this is The Lonely Dead by April Henry. This one is also Indigo. Um, I really enjoyed this. It is about a girl who can basically see ghosts. And I loved this. It was so good and it was fast and it was just really fun to read. So I do recommend this one if you like this genre. It's also a murder mystery. The main character is trying to find out who killed this girl in her town and it's really fun to read. I liked it and if you're looking for a paranormal read, I would recommend this one. And if you don't have any books for indigo, I feel like this one shouts indigo. I also have a book for orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors, but my favorite color is actually red. Um, and this is Dragon Hoops by Jean Louise Yang. I really enjoyed this. I recently read it and it recently came out. This is about Jean and he is a teacher and his school is really popular for their basketball team. And he doesn't care about basketball, but the coaches are so beloved that he wants to know why. And this really felt like a documentary. I really enjoyed it. And so if you are looking for a graphic novel, because they are so good to read during a readathon, I highly recommend this one. I also forgot to recommend the rainbow books that I have. These are so perfect. It is the George Universe. Um, we have Rick, which is coming out on April 21st, so it should be out in time for the readathon. This is about a boy named Rick who is asexual. I really enjoyed this book. It was so good. And we have George, which is the first book, and this is about a trans girl. It is so good. I highly recommend it. I think that those are like all of the books that I have. Um, I do a lot of book recommendation videos, so I feel like any books that I recommend you could use. Please tweet us your TBRs. I'm so excited to see everyone's rainbow TBRs. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and you're staying safe. I will see you guys next time.